servants from Ireland and his was slaves but we was friends just the same the night John Henry was born lightning bolts shaped like nine pound steels filled the sky thunder that sounded like laughter filled the night air by the time John Henry was 12 years old he could split rails with full grown men he won race spitting contests every Sunday, and I won many a hard-earned two bits betting on his race spitting abilities. He was the best, no doubt. It was 1867, and all the slaves in Tennessee were free. With his parents being dead, and no work for freemen to do, there was no need for John to stay in Tennessee. The Queen wants to travel with me to West Virginia, Captain Johnson. I know my family still owes you $100 in our indenture, sir. It cost me a pretty penny to bring your mama and daddy from Ireland. And I intend to get every red cent that you owe me. I'll send the money back to you, sir. When the debt's settled, now uh, you can go. Until then, you'll steal indentured servants. <laughs> we ain't never gonna be able to pay off that money been over 20 years and it keeps going up because we keep having to borrow more from the captain. I'll send you what I can, Queen. I'm gonna miss you. We had some good times in this hateful old place. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure glad I'm leaving. Where it was, the Sea and Old Railroad was built in Big Bin Tunnel over in West Virginia. Now, a man could earn a dollar a day and a place to sleep. John Henry struck out for West Virginia. He stopped along the way, taking odd jobs wherever he could, and keeping his word about sending back money to get me off of old Captain Johnson's place. Do you mean John Henry walked all the way from North Carolina to Tennessee to West Virginia? He walked all the way to the CNO work camp, right to this spot. Look at Miss 
<laughs> this is the kind of bonus money you get for you the best steel driver in West Virginia. This weekend, we school. What you gazing at, boy? Uh, well, well, I, I just... He got eyes for me, Spy. <laughs> you got eyes for her? <laughs> you got eyes for her? <laughs> look how raggedy you is, boy. You know, to get a woman like that, you got to look like me. There ain't no way you gonna ever look like me. You had some style. Yeah, yeah, honey, I know, I know. Look here, boy. Boy, I bet you can't even read and write, can you? Well, I can't read, but uh, I'm going to raggedy and dumb. That's a good combination, boy. That's a real good combination. <laughs> Take you for a mountain. First thing you know, you'll have a hole running through your chest. It wouldn't hurt me none. <laughs> you ever worked with dynamite before? No, sir. Goodbye. I, I work for free. If I can't do the job, then you don't have to pay me. I sure like Miss Polly. Miss Puff. Miss Polly. <laughs> Polly and Spike Wade's girlfriend. Spike Wade's the best steel driver and ladies' man in ten states. You ain't even got shoes on. What's your name? John Henry, sir. Go on home, John Henry. Let's have a contest. And me drive the steel against Spike Wade. I'll beat him. I, I only use one hand. You what? I can drive more skill with one hand than he can drive with two. If I went out, I'd get a job building Big Ben. If I don't, well. <laughs> I like your style, John Smith. I did me, sir. All right, Tuesday morning, bright and early. You can stay in the workman's quarters till then, down the street to the right. Take any empty bed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tell me you will. The fella says he wants to challenge you to a steel driving contest, Spike. Ain't no way no greenhorn bummer gonna beat me driving steel, Mr. Jenkins. Oh, I know that, Spike. But we need a little excitement around here. Men need something to laugh at. If after it's over, I'll give him a couple of dollars. We'll have some fun. He'll be on his way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a chance to pick up a couple extra dollars, huh? Anybody crazy enough to bet against me. <laughs> Daisy's right. <laughs> what time is lunch? 